What's up guys? Welcome back to Shark. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back with some BMW content. That's why the, the, the beautiful intro is back, is because we have some BMW content. You guys saw in the last video with the Porsche, it is looking like an absolute beaut. I love the decals. I love everything that's been going down with this car so far, and it's looking really, really, really good. Um, but end of the day, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like BMW more. I thought as I was building this, I was gonna like Porsche more. It is a phenomenal car. It is a great handling car. I think that's what this car has going for it. In terms of power, it's just not there. Even though it's a Cayman S, it's just, there is no like spontaneous power. It's all consistent. Maybe that's why track people like it. It's it's, anticip it's anticipable, whatever that term is, that word is. Power is there when you need it. And uh, it's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, I like the car, I like the way it looks. It's just, it's a little, little boring, not gonna lie for me. I, it could just be because it's a Cayman S and it's not a GT car. I think if it's a GT4 or a GT3 RS or something like that, it'd be absolutely insane. Uh, even with the new mod that I added to this car, which will be in the next video, I was gonna release it before this BMW video. Um, the car is an amazing car, but again, it's just something about BMW that just has it over any other brand around the under the 100K mark. So that being said, guys, we do have a new build on the channel. I am super happy to say it is here. It is literally here. I'm not telling you guys I'm getting one. It's officially finally here. I told you guys I've been trying to get an M build. It's gonna be super crazy. It's gonna be just as crazy as the E91 M3. And can you guys guess what that is? Let me just go ahead and show you guys. What you guys see before yourselves is the sickest F31, F81 soon, F31 wagon I have ever seen. This is honestly the craziest spec and this is, we're kind of going a complete opposite direction than we did with the E91 M3. The E91 M3, I bought the absolute cheapest, uh, I guess we call it a donor car, or do you call it the main car? The cheapest shell to do this build on. And I ran into a lot of issues with gaps. I ran into a lot of issues um, in, ter in terms of retrofitting keyless entry and options. It was a really, really, really garbage spec originally. And we did everything to it, but took us two years to complete this car. And I can't really say it's complete because it still needs paint. Luckily, I'm actually working on that with my paint guy right next door. So we're actually getting some paint samples here pretty soon for that. And we're actually moving forward with this thing. I did find a cheaper alternative to get this car where I want it to go. And honestly, for now, guys, I'm pretty happy with it. Back to the Butte. This is an F31 M Sport with red leather interior and every option other than Harman Kardon, which is a super, super, super rare spec. Just finding an Alpine white F31 wagon is hard as it is. Finding an M Sport is super difficult. And then finding it with red interior is probably the hardest so having this entire color combination was just absolutely a dream you guys can see it actually has the camera feature right here it has the lane i don't know if you guys can see it the lane option right over here the the the, the blind spot detection it has heads up display, which is absolutely amazing with all these options. This car, I believe, can actually pace the car in front of it, tell you the speed signs, uh, the speed limits, uh, if there's a car next to you. Again, 360 camera, uh, bird's eye view, backup camera, which is also super sick. Literally every option I would want in a wagon this car has, other than the Harman Kardon sound system, we're probably gonna have to hit up Beamer Tech, figure something out for that because uh, these actually, all these speakers are blown. So uh, yeah, that's one of the negative things. The other negative thing with this wagon um, is the rear suspension. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, that, that, that does not sound good. See, other than the speakers blown and the rear suspension, this car is a perfect, what you call, it's not a donor car. What is it, the main car you have and then you have a donor car to build the main car? What is this thing called? Like a base. A good base. Right? Yeah. It's just a perfect base for this F81 M3, which I have insane plans for. Now, the reason I was actually looking for a perfect base is because I do want to retain certain features. For example, the black headliner, I still don't have in this wagon because it is super difficult to get an E91 with a black headliner. To find an E91 factory M Sport with a black headliner is a super pain in the butt. I want everything factory as much as possible. So yeah, this one does have the black headliner, which is absolutely perfect. This one also has the Alpine white paint, which is something going to be retaining for the F81 M3. 
M3 build. And this one also has all the interior black pieces, for example, the trunk, the interior pieces, not to mention again, the features, that all, all that kind of stuff we're retaining for this build. It has the shadow line trim, the shadow line upper pieces. Again, I can't really get much better than that because it literally has all the bones that we will need for the F81 M3. This chassis as well is a clean title. So we already smogged the car. It's gonna be good for two years um, right off the get go. So we have two years to actually get this car barred. When I actually started that project, it was a salvage title and I couldn't actually drive it until I got it barred. So I had to finish the project to get it barred to be able to drive it. So that was a super pain in the butt process. I did not want to go through that process again. We want the easiest route, clean title, title on hand, smog ready to go for the next two years. Let's go ahead and just get started on this build. So yeah, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm actually building another wagon. Didn't two years teach me a lesson? That is a lot of work for something that, you know, looks pretty awesome, but it took two years of my life that I'll never get back. Do I have any regrets? No. But yeah, nothing's better than honestly having an M3 and then Oh God. And then also having a lot of space. Um, just honestly, look at, oh, Jonathan, close the trunk, bro. Uh, just having a lot of space inside. Jonathan, please. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have this, bro. We, we just need a lot of space for some things, if you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo, that wasn't part of the skin, dude. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, uh, Erlon's good. Okay. <laughs> it's just a prank. Nobody report this channel, please. Uh, but yeah, no, all jokes aside, having a wagon with a ton of space in the back is super sick. Uh, now, speaking of car enthusiasts and speaking of enjoying builds, uh, we do have a car meet coming up here pretty soon. I want to announce that before the next video. Uh, the next video is actually starting to tear this thing apart and getting it run, uh, getting it ready for the F81 project. Um, so yeah, again, super exciting stuff. But we do have a car meet, and that is officially announced for October 26. I'm gonna have the first link down below for those of you guys who want to attend a real really sick car meet. Um, that's not just a normal car meet. We actually have something that we're planning that's gonna be pretty sick, uh, but it's gonna be announced in the car meet day. So for those of you guys who show up here, you guys will see what we mean. We are gonna have free coffee, free donuts, so make sure to show up. We're gonna have it right here in front of the shop. And just, you know, be able to meet you guys, see you guys, say what's up. We're gonna have some merch here as well. And just, you know, see the builds. I wanna see you guys' builds. I want you guys to see our builds. Again, the E91 that I've been building for two years. Uh, the Porsche is gonna be here. And this wagon, probably in a different state, is gonna be here as well. I've been saying for literally years, gonna be hosting a car meet to actually see you guys talk to you guys and just have a good time and i honestly never really planned it out my boy jonathan encouraged me he's hosted uh what did you host before i hosted like a little car rally type thing like a couple of them a couple of them yeah so he he, he understands the whole organization thing he <laughs> yeah. told me i should probably do it i'm on i'm a little insecure i'm not gonna You're lie worried about nobody showing i'm up. worried so that everybody show up i'm worried All that right. one person might show up so for those of you guys who are in the area please show up it'll be absolutely amazing We'll, we'll fill you guys up with donuts and coffee, all the good stuff. Yeah, and then we have good some time. good entertainment. So it's going to be pretty cool. So I love you guys. But yeah, anywho, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I just kind of want to show you guys a little cap. I think the F81 M3 is going to be a great addition to the YouTube channel, a sick build. And this is not going to be a stock car. This car is going to be fully upgraded top to bottom. Every little piece you ever think of that can be upgraded will be upgraded on this F81 and just having the car in Alpine White. Just gonna be able to make this thing look a whole lot cleaner so much faster because that is the only thing we haven't done so far on the E91 M3 and a supercharger, but yeah, but yeah. All right, guys, I love y'all. I'll see you guys soon. Who knows, maybe at the car meet.